Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk. Last lesson, we finished the game with a few errors. So let's see if we play the game. It says that、um, you need to touch the red box. So if you touch the red box, it says that you have touched the red box. Congrats! But the problem is, if I play the game again, and you'll see that if I try to touch the yellow box, it also says the same thing. So that's the problem. So we're going to try and fix that by getting into the code. So go into my player object, and I'm going to edit the script. Edit the script and go into the section where the function is on trigger enter, and it says that I'm going to change the instruction text to you have touched the red box. So we are going to add an if statement just before this. So I'm only going to change the text after I have touched the red box. But how do I know that I've touched the red box? Well, I'm going to log to the screen by using debug dot log, and I'm going to log to the screen the collide the object that I'm colliding with. So I'm going to go other dot Name, and it should log the name of the object that I'm colliding with. So let's save that, and let's now play the game again. And I'm just going to touch the red box, and not only does it change the text, you can see in the console. So if I press the escape key and then go into the console, you can see that is logged red box, which is the name of the object that I've just collided with. It's called red box. So I'm going to now say if the name of the object that I'm colliding with is called red box, then It will change the text, so I've added an if statement. If I touch the red box, then it'll say that I have touched the red box. Otherwise, it's not going to do anything. So let's play the game again and see if it does that. So I'm going to start off by just touching the yellow box and see if it does anything. Doesn't do anything. But if I touch the red box, it now says that I have touched the red box. Congrats. Okay, and another thing that I'm going to add in is I'm going to make it so that after I touch the red box, it disappears. So let's go into the conditions again. So other than、um, other than saying that. I have touched the red box. I also want the object to disappear. So go other dot game object. Right. This refers to the object that I've just collided with, the game object, and I'm going to destroy it. So I'm just going to add the destroy function at the front, and it says remove a game object. So let's see if that works. Save it. And let's go into Unity again, and we're going to play the game again. So, oops. So I'm going to play the game again, and it says touch a red box. So I'm going to touch a yellow box. Nothing happens. I'm going to touch a red box. It says you have touched a red box. Congrats, and the red box is gone, which is what we want. Okay, so. I'm now going to add a few more things. So I'm going to say that once I have touched a red box, it's going to now say touch a yellow box. So let's go back into the code.、Um, if I have touched a red box, it'll now say.、Um, 
um, you have touched a red box, congrats. And then it'll say, please touch the yellow box. Okay, so we want to now get the user to touch the yellow box. Um, after that, it, after it's congratulated you to touch that for touching the red box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create another function called change instruction, change instruction text. And I'm just going to take in some input uh, string text. Okay, so the input is a string of text. String just means um, some text or numbers or whatever you want inside a variable. And what it's going to do is it's going to set the instruction text um, I'm going to change this to new text so it doesn't get confused instruction dot text equals new text okay so I'm just going to check that this still works so I'm just going to go change instruction text so I'm using the new function that I've just created to see that it's working okay so let's just save that check that it's still working so I'm gonna play the game I'm going to move around and touch the red box okay so it's still working so my new function has worked and what I'm going to do is I'm going to invoke this function. So using invoke, and it tells you what it means, it invokes the method in time. So I'm going to invoke the method. The name of the method is change instruction text. I'm going to invoke this method and I'm going to put in the new string. Um, oops. So I'm going to go invoke and I'm going to put in the time. Um, let's just say two. Okay, but this doesn't work because it needs all that inside a string. So I'm going to put that all that information inside a big string. And did that work? Too many characters. Hang on a second. Okay, so we have a bit of a problem because the invoke function does not take into its parameters another function with an input. So we can't do this. So what I'm going to do is create another function called um, red collected. And that's where I'm going to call this function here to um, to change the message of the instruction text and so here I can just say red collected and that should invoke that function and I'm just going to use a double quotation mark okay so now that should work let's save that and let's see what happens so I'm going to run the game. Oops, I miss, uh, missed a semicolon somewhere. 53.5. So over here, I missed a semicolon. Save the game. Try it again. And it now says, touch a red box. I touch it. Two seconds later, it says you have touched a red box. Okay, so 
instead of doing that, um, I'm going to say change instruction text. I will put that over here. You have touched the red box. Congrats. And I'm going to say collect yellow. I'm going to say that after five seconds. And here I'm going to say please collect the yellow box. Okay, and I'm going to change this to collect yellow. So what that's going to do is I'm going to collect the red box or touch the red box and notice touching yellow doesn't do anything but if I touch the red box it says you have touched the red box congrats after a few seconds it'll say please collect the yellow box so now I'm going to collect the yellow box but nothing happens so I need to then go and edit that so how do I make it so that after it says please collect the yellow box um, please collect the yellow box then something else happens so I need some variables so I'm gonna make a new variable at the start and I'm going to say it's just um, a text variable uh, sorry a string variable and a string is basically some text that you can put inside a variable so I'm going to um, create a variable called box to collect and at the start the box to collect is equal to red okay so the condition here for it to say you have touched a red box is that and uh, other than the name of the collider object is the red box we also want the box to collect variable to equal what did I put in there red okay both of these conditions have to be satisfied so let's try that again if I um, touch a red box yes that works so let's go back and um, if I touch a red box and box to the collect is red then it does that so let's copy this and let's change this to from red box to yellow box so do I have yellow box yes yellow box and I'm gonna say if other dot name is yellow box and box to collect is yellow then I'm going to say you have touched a yellow box congrats and I'm not gonna change the message after that so for now I just want it to distinguish between red and yellow boxes in the collection message so box to collect is yellow um, so where will it change the variable box to collect would be here so I want here box to collect is yellow okay so here's the sequence I touch a red box it's gonna destroy the red box it's gonna say you have touched a red box congrats it's gonna call this method call, called um, collect yellow so the collect yellow method is gonna change the instruction text to collect the yellow box it's going to change this variable to box to collect to yellow which means that when I touch a yellow box 
box to collect variable is yellow and the yellow the box that I'm colliding with has a name called yellow box it'll destroy that object and it'll change the instruction text to you have touched the yellow box so let's save this and see what happens okay so let's play the game and see what happens so initially um, it'll say touch a red box so if I touch a yellow box nothing happens I will touch a red box you have touched a red box congrats and it should change please collect the yellow box okay so I collect the yellow box you have touched a yellow box congrats awesome so I fixed up everything that I needed to fix added some new features hopefully from this tutorial you would have a bit more understanding about variables about um, changing the adding if statement so if a certain if a certain uh, object has been touched then we do something okay so hopefully you guys understand all that and you understand how to delay calling a function using a certain amount of seconds okay thanks for watching guys see you next time See you next time.